This slide here is the comparison in the city property tax rate per thousand dollars of assessed valuation. Um, it's not the overall property tax comparison, um, so there is a little clarification there in the title. Um, but what I did want to show is that I went back to um, AWC to try to get some data on additional information on property taxes, and this is a comparison for property tax per capita. Just something we haven't looked at before, just another way to look at property taxes instead of just straight across um, property tax per thousand evaluation. And you can see here that DuPont is sort of in the middle here. Um, the property tax per capita, and this is 2014 because there's a lag in getting full data. Um, but we're at $221 per capita in property taxes. So another item in revenue for us to look at is what percentage comes from different areas? So what I did is I took the different cities that were similar in population. So I took only cities with a population between 6,000 and 10,000 and looked and I calculated the percentage for each of these categories in their revenues to see um, where did DuPont fall. Um, and so you can see here, five DuPont and Gig Harbor are all very similar in um, population size. And you can see that we're also very similar in the percentage of property taxes, looking at about 25% in property taxes. Also very similar, DuPont and Gig Harbor are very similar in the business taxes. Five has a little less in business taxes. And then in retail and sales use taxes, DuPont's slightly lower than Gig Harbor and right on track with five. So it just goes to show that for cities that are in the same population range, we're very similar in our percent of revenues that come from property taxes versus business taxes and retail sales and use taxes. This is the area where I found out today that I have a whole bunch more data at my fingertips that I just have to figure out how to tap into through the state auditor's office. So I'll be excited to show that with you down the road. Do we have a comment from somebody who said I can go ahead and read it for him? Um, the city property tax comparison slide does not include the Northwest Landing ROA used tax. The comparisons you saw on the slides do not include the amount of money we do pay to the ROA. That is an accurate observation. Everybody who lives in Northwest Landing pays an additional um, about $300 a year. I'm sorry. $32.67 a month. So, um, yes, we do have a higher burden than what is on the slides.